Good day, everybody. Welcome to another Dune Imperium digital video. This one is straight to YouTube. This is not from a live stream. And um, I decided I'm going to go and do a challenge mode. So in Dune Imperium digital, there are these really cool solo versus AI modes. And one of them is called challenges. And each challenge has sort of a particular set of rules that change the way you have to think about the game. And the challenge is figuring out how do you win the game under these strange new conditions. The one I'm gonna to do today is called Mind Killer. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? All right, so the special rule here is at the start of each combat, every player with no deployed troops trashes the top card of their deck. All right, I haven't tried this before. So at first, this kind of sounds like, oh crap, I better make sure I'm involved in these conflicts or else I'm gonna lose my deck. Um, but my first thought here is this is a big opportunity because in deck building games, if you can trash the weaker cards out of your deck, um, that means you can draw your better cards a lot more often and you have a much more powerful turn. Um, and now, how are we going to make sure that we're trashing weak cards and not our best cards? Well, my first thought is Polytrades here. So luckily we can choose from any leader we want, and to me, Paul is the obvious choice here because of Prescience. So Paul Atreides has the power to see into the folds of time and possible outcomes. Uh, in the game, that's represented as you may look at the top card of your deck at any time. This, a lot of players see this and think, eh, it's kind of a meh ability. You know, you get to see the top card of your deck, who cares? Um, I do think it's underrated. I think it can be quite handy in a normal game of Dune Imperium to know whether or not you should draw a card. Um, it can change your strategy and it can make sure you optimize certain moves. Um, but in this mode, I think it's like by far the best ability you can pick for this challenge. Um, and so what I'm thinking is I'm going to try to trash cards as much as I can. So, you know, I'm going to try to not commit troops to conflicts and try to kind of line things up so I'm trashing the weaker cards out of my deck. We'll see how it goes in practice. So let's jump in here. All right, this first conflict uh, is for a victory point. You know, these prizes are nice. Let's see, what is the top card of my deck? Reconnaissance. Okay, well, Reconnaissance is a card that I don't mind trashing, right? Basically, the cards I don't want to trash initially are uh, Diplomacy, because that's a card that can take you to any of the faction spaces. Uh, I don't want to trash my Seek Allies, that's a one-time use card, which also does the same thing. So I want to keep those, because those are incredibly powerful. Uh, I don't want to trash my Signet Ring, and I don't think I want to trash Convincing Arguments yet, because those are going to give me the persuasion to get the powerful cards that I want to put into my deck. So as things stand right now, I don't mind losing the Reconnaissance. Um, the Daggers I'd like to get rid of as well, but I can't do that now. So, uh, are there any good cards I could get into my deck here? <laughs> Gene Manipulation is more trashing. I don't know if I necessarily need that, um, but of the cards available, it's kind of all I got. Uh, that or just Arrakis Liaisons. All right, so looking at this hand, uh, I'm gonna use the Diplomacy. Where do I want to go with it? Well, I probably wanna get myself lined up for a Swordmaster uh, soon. So typically that involves going to Still Suits, grabbing some uh, Spice at the Great Flat, going up to Selma Lange. Alternatively, though, um, I could just go up here. I'm going to do that this time. We'll get some Solari out of there. I think that's the first time 
I've seen where I was going to say where the the AI Harkonnen didn't throw in four troops, but of course he couldn't do it by going to Karthag. The only way to do that uh, at this moment is Hardy Warriors. All right, it's back to me. So basically my option is um, I either use my Seek Allies card, which is a one-time use, or alternatively, um, I could use a dagger up here in Hall of Oratory, putting me up to three persuasion, which would put me in line for this gene manipulation, which, you know, it is a little bit better than the Arrakis liaison. It's the same faction access, it's the same persuasion reveal, but you have this other uh, option when you use it. Um, and I think I will do it. We'll kind of just go hardcore <laughs> into this potential trash mode. Um, and the other reason I like that is trashing cards out of your deck typically favors uh, a Bene Gesserit strategy. A lot of the Bene Gesserit cards trigger off of having other Bene Gesserit cards in play, um, which is easier to do if you get rid of the non-Bene Gesserit cards from your deck. So we'll see if that can work out. It may not. Um, so we'll reveal here. And uh, we'll take the gene manipulation and we'll leave it at that. And now that reconnaissance card is gonna be trashed, which means I'm gonna draw the four cards from my deck. This is gonna get shuffled and I'm gonna draw one of these. Now the trick, of course, is I still have to win the game. So I have to remember that, you know, it's important still to get victory points and to, um, you know, uh, actually make sure that my opponents don't get too many points and all that. So, okay. This is one uh, I wouldn't mind winning. Whoa, early research station here. Now I currently have seven. So this is uh, something else to consider is like, I would love to get something like this into my deck, right? A big card that, uh, you know, you're gonna see again and again, just rack up some Solari for some end game points could be pretty cool. So I have an opportunity here. For example, uh, I could, I could go to secure contract and then grab the high council seat. Um, and that would leave me with enough persuasion to snag that, which honestly would be pretty cool. A high council seat early, I think is going to be good for the sort of strategy I'm going for. Now, at the moment, the top card of my deck is Seek Allies. I don't really want that card to get trashed. But the trouble is, <laughs> out of the cards in my deck here, um, the only one I would want to get trashed is the Dagger. So it would be a pretty risky strategy to do that. Because let's, if I use my signet ring, that will draw me a card. So that will draw me the Seek Allies. And then I guess there are two daggers in here. So I have like a 50-50 chance essentially of the top card of my deck being a dagger, which I would want to trash. And if it's not, uh, then I'll be in a tough spot because it'll be too late to recruit troops because Going for this, I would have to first go to Dune the Desert Planet. Then I would have to go to the High Council seat. And I'd have no more actions left to put in troops. So another option here is actually just try to win this conflict. Forget about the trashing right now. Just try to win the Siege of Arakeen. Maybe that's the better play. 
So if that's the play, I still do want to get one of these big cards. Um, so drawing cards, I think, is something I want to do. And yeah, that would have been the top card of my deck, which would have been bad. So let's draw that. Let's deploy some troops here. If we're going to go in, let's go in. And now for my next play, it's going to depend on what happens. All right, it's back over to me. They have no more agents left. So theoretically, three troops here should be good enough. Um, but you never know with that entry card. Well, the Baron is only sitting at one, so probably I'm good. Um, I could do a gene manipulation, which would let me trash a card. Now, it would have to be one of these Dune the Desert planets from my hand, but that's not that big a deal. Um, or I use the Seek Allies now. Um, alternatively, I use one of these dunes, grab three Solari so that next turn I'm ready to get High Council Seat. I think maybe, maybe I like that play better. Two swords, not gonna do it. Uh, you know what I forgot about? She has seven cards in hand, so there's a good chance she comes up over the top. Although, yeah, there's two daggers, so that's going to tie it up. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to win. We're both going to tie for four Solari. Um, you know, I guess that's fine. But, um, looking back on it, I think I... I think I wish I had made a different move, but that's how things go. Okay, so I'm sitting at seven. I have some pretty nice options. Uh, Worm Riders is here, Carryall is here, Opulence is here, but... Hmm. All right. We're gonna stick with the opulence plan. Uh, assassination mission is actually a pretty decent choice here because that's a card I want to trash. Um, so let's, let's pick it up for one. All right, now I am pretty sad that I didn't win that conflict because, you know, I don't really want to be, I don't want to be going in for conflicts all that often here. So when I do go in, I want it to count. Convincing argument is not what I want to lose. Okay, my high council seat got taken. So I think this would be a good time to uh, grab my sword master then. It's gonna delay my ability to uh, get the high council seat, but that's just the way the news goes. So I'm going to use my Signet Ring to draw a card and see what uh, is next there. This spice, though, honestly, am I crazy to just let that sit there? I think I am. I am, but I want to know what my card, what my next card is. Honestly, there's not a lot of cards here I want to trash. This is getting weird. This is getting weird here. Uh, I'd like it to be either this or this, and that's kind of it. Huh. Because the cards I want to trash are in my hand. So maybe I don't worry too much about that.
I'd love to grab this. Um, the fact that Ariana didn't take that already suggests maybe she can't. I'm going to wait. Yeah. Okay, well, I can at least still get this. And, um... Uh, but I'm going to get the Swordmaster first. <laughs> That's that Seek Allies again. Big nine reveal. Yeah, the carry all is nice. I suppose there's no hurry. I could let that build up one more round and maybe I should. Um, so, what are my other options here? Could try to get some more Solari again to try to get to this High Council seat. I'm still a little bit far off. The question is, if I don't commit troops, I'm going to lose the Seek Allies. Is that a big deal? It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I don't want to lose it. But I'm kind of getting annoyed. <laughs> because I do want to make my deck smaller just to get opulence more often, right? Is it worth losing that to do it? I'm not so sure. Um, I don't have a lot of great options, though. Um, I could go up to Hall of Oratory here and grab, you know, two Arrakis liaisons. We'll do this. Daggers are kind of useless. All right, so with two, it will be one Arrakis liaison anyway. And uh, this game is already feeling pretty weird, I have to say. I haven't quite been able to accomplish my goal, so I am going to lose the uh, Seek Allies. And uh, that's okay. All right, so here's the opulence, which I want. So let's just go ahead and get that done. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed that while it was there, because it's probably not going to be there <laughs> when it comes back. We'll see. No, I wanted the High Council. Ooh. All right, well, at least the spice is still here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, now, I don't have 
a top card of my deck right now. So... That kind of means this is another good time to commit troops. Let's get some spice. Um, I'm not going to deploy the troops because my plan is going to be to uh, to do that with this card. And so I might as well wait and see what everyone else gets up to. Oh, wow. The intrigue card stealing here is a little nuts. Huge play. Okay, so... Something else I could do is I could actually... I could go up and get this Mentat. I mean, I'm sitting on a ton of Solari. I'm going to get even more. So I could go up to the Mentat, um, draw a card, which is going to reach off my deck. I will then have a top card of my deck, and that will give me a little bit more info to see if I want to trash the top card of my deck or not. Let's try that. And it's a convincing argument. Um, at this point, maybe I'm okay with losing that. I don't really want to, but again, I do still want to trash cards. All right, so this is from the gene manipulation. We will trash the assassination mission. Get rich. That's the end of that turn. Ah, oh, man. All right. Now, the issue with this is that uh, the only card I can play is Diplomacy. So I, I actually can't put troops in. So I am going to lose the top card of my deck. Um, so I think I have to accept, well, Basically, the only card here that I really don't want to lose is the Signet Ring. I don't want to lose the Arrakis Liaison, but I wouldn't mind losing the Dagger, like either of the Daggers or the Dune the Desert Planet. Basically, what I'm thinking of is I could send the Diplomacy to Selective Breeding, trash a card to draw two, um, but it's a gamble, right? Because... You know, if this if my signet ring happens to be the last card of my deck, that would be a real bummer. Drawing two, that would be that. So that bring me to four. Which doesn't do much. If I happen to get one more, that would be nice to get five. Uh, there's a good chance of that happening. I'm going to gamble on it. And we'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm going to trash this Dune the Desert Planet. And that really didn't work out. I'm going to lose my Arrakis Liaison now. And all I drew was a dagger. Like one of two cards out of my whole deck that did not get me to five influence. Oh, that is very sad, but that is how it is here. All right, four. Do I want a Smuggler's Thopter? At the moment, I have no influence with the guild, so I'm going to say probably not. I better replenish these guys since I'm about to lose one.
I'm not feeling great about the Baron sitting at four victory points here, and I'm sitting at one. This trashing strategy is not... It's not really working out the way I had dreamed. Okay, well... I want to get the High Council seat. Let me do that first. We'll see where that leaves things. Another Arrakis liaison is sitting on the top of the deck. It might be Mentat. <laughs> the bear is just going to win this game while I'm sitting screwing around with this whole mechanic here. Um, so that is one of the interesting things about these challenges and the skirmishes is, you know, how much do you change everything you're doing to, um, you know, to fit the particular rules and how much do you just kind of play the game, right? So, um, We'll see. I mean, I'm at least glad that it looks like uh, Ariana is going to be winning this and not the Baron, but I'm going to have to start doing something here. Okay. Uh, I do like the idea of getting Mentat, I think. And um, again, just kind of see what my options are. Okay, there's a dagger. I do want to get rid of that dagger. Ooh, I really want that. This is amazing to have in a deck with not many cards in it. Um, I don't need to do an early reveal. I still have two agents to go. Okay, I don't want to throw any troops in. So what do I want to do with my time and energy here? Uh, it might be a good time to get rally troops because it's probably going to be, it's going to start being time to win conflicts. Um, so probably a rally troops. And I I don't want to draw a card. I, I would go here if I could, but I cannot. Eight. Don't want to get too spice? Not really. Um, okay, let's do this. I don't have another Bene Gesserit card, but that will be one. So let's just go here. We'll get rid of this dagger. And I actually can't use either of these now because I need eight. So I could spend one. I mean, I guess I could spend one of them to send it up here. That would end up being at eight. Um, but I might as well get some more Solari. Just to be able to get a Mentat if I want it. All right, come to me. Okay. So I have now trashed a few cards here. There's a dagger gone. Both my daggers are gone. I've gotten rid of a dune. I got rid of a reconnaissance. Um, 
I think now I've really got to just forget about this whole mechanic. Other than making sure I don't trash something I want, um, it's time now to try to get some victory points. Okay, definitely don't want to trash that, but I do want to draw it. Okay. Um, maybe it wouldn't be a bad time for some hardy warriors. Let's do that. Hopefully nobody goes to wealth, um, because that's where I want to send this opulence. Okay, it looks like I'm okay there. Um, now, another thing to consider is... I want to draw and play this prior to playing the gene manipulation so that I can get the uh, the two spice out of that. So I think that means, oh, I think that means I actually can't play the opulence. Is it, maybe that's not even worth it then. I mean, it's nice to get two spice, but um, I think I want to be getting the Solari. So I'm just going to do that. Next turn is going to be a Signet Ring to draw a card to get the Kwisatz Haderach. Then it will be playing the Kwisatz Haderach. And I won't get to play the Gene Manipulation. Um, but that's okay. That's definitely a card I would like to get if I can. All right. Unfortunately, maybe this is a good time to go to Siege Tavern with this Signet Ring. There are three entry cards here and three entry cards here. Might not be bad to throw a couple more troops in just to kind of make sure. Because I have no backup for my plan, right? Whatever swords she may... Oh, no, she's already revealed, right? But she's already... She is ahead of me, actually. So the swords already put her ahead. Three swords. And whatever these entry cards may be. So let's do it this way. Um, I could still easily lose to entry cards, but on the other hand, the Kwisatz Haderach could kind of bail me out, so we'll see. Like, I could go to Hardy Warriors again. And the reason to do it would partly be to get ahead on this influence track, because the Baron is my main competition here. I don't really want him to get that alliance. Um, eight cards in hand, man, oh man. Where else would I want to go? I mean, it also could just be still suits to get some water. Opening up things like Research Station, which is pretty amazing when I have a, a good deck. 
And going here would then just, you know, throw in maybe another troop. Okay, so that puts me, if she has a plus five, I would lose. The thing is, like, this is a huge investment for this one little fight, right? The next combat's are gonna be worth a lot more. I don't know if I wanna go too crazy with this. She would have to have um, a pretty good, you know, five swords in, in entry cards would do it. I'm just going to hope that's good enough. Okay, is the spice flowing, Baron? Yes, it is. And he also gets the Thufir that I wanted. Now there's nothing good for me to buy. Because I can't quite get a spice must flow. Okay, that is extremely disappointing. Uh, I think that means I don't buy anything. Unless I get spice smugglers just just to maybe get some bumps there, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to clog up my deck with this. Do I want a, one more Rackus liaison? How many do I have? One? What, what, where's my play area? Here. So I have two total in my deck. Nope, I think it's no. Ugh, eight persuasion. Whoa. The Baron just lost a really nice card because he didn't commit troops. Okay. All right, well, at least I won. And I I didn't overcommit. I mean, I kind of did a little bit, I suppose. Okay, this is what I actually want to win. And I have a bonus here, so that's nice. Can I get to Hayliner? I do have two water. I can get to Hayliner. All right, so I'm pretty sure that means I gotta get this four spice and then diplomacy over to Hayliner. I think that's the move. Uh, so I'm not gonna deploy troops yet. Because I don't think there's any need to. Look at the entry cards on this guy. Oh boy. The victory points on the Baron here. Look at this. Um, okay, so the opulence I think is gonna be a reveal because I have the Solari for it now. Ooh, lots of cards. All right. The question is, maybe I wait. Honestly, maybe I don't even need, maybe I don't need to do Hayliner here. What's my top card? Convincing argument. If I draw that, uh, it doesn't quite get me to, Doesn't quite get me to spice must flow money. 
I'm considering holding off just to see. Like, I don't want to blow this if I don't actually have to. But. Hmm. I'm going to do that right now. <sighs> what is this Baron up to? He has three intrigue cards. That's, that's not... A comfortable difference here with potential swords in hand I think I still have to go to Hayliner the question is how many of the troops do I actually throw in I think I have to do it um, the other I guess the other thing I could do is hardy warriors to grab the alliance and get two more troops in putting me to 12 that's probably good enough It's probably good enough, but going to the Hayliner, it I don't have to throw all five in, right? So it's kind of like it keeps them in reserve for the next fights. It also gets me two water which sets me up for like a research station. Um, there's more spice sitting here, which unfortunately someone else is probably gonna get. It just burns all of my spice, so I can't do this again like next round, let's say. It also doesn't get me the Alliance, um, which I, I wanna make sure I get. The trouble is, going here burns my water, which means this is going to be... Uh... All right, I, I think I have to go to the Hayliner. I want to make sure I can get this next round, because that's going to be five spice sitting there. These people don't currently have water. So let's do this. Um, I think it's just going to be two. I feel like that should be enough. I mean, he would have to have incredible entry cards to beat that. No swords in hand. Okay, good. I've kind of been discounting Ariana, Ariana here, I guess, because she does have troops she could potentially throw in. Um, reveal. Okay, I've got to not forget to do this. Let me just do that right now. And with five. I think I get this shifting allegiances um, because that card can... That can end up being points. And at, at worst, it's two persuasion on reveal. So I think I'm gonna get that. And I think that's it. The spice smugglers, you know, the, the argument there is that could get me this point right here. Um, but I don't wanna clog up my deck. I think. I'm okay with that. All right, so that was more than perhaps was needed, but then again, maybe it was just enough. 
to make their intrigue cards not good enough. All right, there's two points. That's looking a little bit better here. We've got another two points coming up. Okay, so I can do the Quisades Hadarak Gene Manipulation combo this turn. Uh, I think Ariana is probably gonna probably gonna take this. Well, I'm definitely grabbing this fat load of spice. Um, and I'm in pretty good shape to fight for this conflict as well. Let me go here. Let's see what I can draw. Okay. Looking at the top card of my deck to see if I want to trash it. At this point, I wouldn't mind losing that. Um, but I'm going to be drawing more cards anyway. So it's not really relevant. I think I want to fight for this. Although, the thing is, if she ends up going to, you know, Hayliner, then there's not much I can do. I'll throw in one for now. Okay, so I don't see myself overcoming that. Is there a way to do it? Let's say I go to Hardy Warriors, I can throw in four. That does match her. It seems like, okay, she didn't she didn't have the juice to go here. Maybe? I could also draw three cards. Um, I'm not likely to use any of them though, because I think I want to do this combo. I could grab this spice. And then I could go to Hayliner again. That would be kind of nuts. I think that would be my only shot at actually beating Ariana here, because the thing is, she's out of agents, but she has eight cards in hand. Um, so she likely has some swords, and she still has two intrigue cards. Going to Hardy Warriors, throwing in four troops would match that. We would both be at 10, but I have no swords in my deck. <laughs> uh, so I would then have to, you know, get more troops somehow. I could get like one more. Um, although. If I use this first, that basically doesn't cost me an agent. I'll still have two agents left. I can use that to get two spice. I can use that to get Hayliner if I want. So... I want to get this alliance right now.
A dune the desert planet. Wish I could trash that. I'm close to this Emperor Alliance, too. I hadn't really... remembered that. Ooh. Okay, so there's two swords. Two swords. So to beat her... I probably one entry card. Um, <laughs> I think the only option is to do another Hayliner. So where would this be sent? Here? Rally Troops is an option, but I kind of want to save up the Solari to be able to trigger the Opulence. Playing that will drop me to nine. And then playing that will drop me to eight. So maybe I actually play this up to the Hall of Oratory so that I end with nine and I'm able to get the Spice Must Flow after playing these two cards. I think that's the play. Uh, I won't have a good target for my trash, unfortunately. So, oh, but I have to trash. No, I don't have to trash. Right? That's optional. Decline. Yeah, okay. Um, I definitely don't want to trash any of this stuff. Although, honestly, maybe I do. I just want to maximize my chance of drawing Kwisatz Haderach, right? I can't trash anything in my hand because I need all that persuasion. Um, do I need this signet ring or the gene manipulation? Maybe I could lose this at this point. It's not that big a deal. It's kind of crazy, but... Mm, maybe it's too crazy. I'll just decline. Ooh, there's a spice must flow for the Baron. Um, what? Okay, good. Go in on this because I'm still going to, uh, I'm still going to Hayliner. And this should actually win me the game unless somebody has an end game card. Cause I'm gonna get one point, boom. I'm gonna get two points, boom. Um, but there could be an endgame intrigue, although the Baron does not meet the requirements for, for at least one of the ones I'm thinking of. All right. So... He has no spice to trigger like a massive combat card. She does, but she only has one card. Uh, I think that should do it.
Then again, what am I messing around with? Let's just... Let's just do it. Reveal. We also get a Spice Must Flow. That'll leave me at 11. And this should be... Ooh, that gets a point for him. Nice try. We'll see. If he has a good end game plan, like maybe the spice the one that gives you points for having spice must flow, it's possible. I would win the tiebreaker though anyway. Okay. Boom. We did it. All right. <laughs> so, that is a success right there. 10, 11, 4. Um, that was pretty interesting. Um, so the, the deck thinning plan, it, it ended up working out. Um, I thinned my deck quite a bit at the beginning in the first sort of half of the game. Um, and then I started drawing, you know, strong cards often later on, right? I got that Kwisatz Haderach. I think I was able to use it twice uh, soon after buying it, which is kind of uncommon. Um, I was able to get a bunch of money out of the opulence. I got a point out of the opulence, but I was concerned. I was concerned that I spent too much time messing around with, uh, you know, trying to get the right cards on top of my deck to trash them, trying to buy good cards for my deck. And I was behind early, right? I think the Baron had like five points and I was still at zero, um, but managed to come back at the end and pull it off. And so, that uh, is going to be it for this video. And the next one, uh, maybe I'll try the hard version of that, or maybe we'll try one of the other ones. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.